Well, what's going on, guys? It's LJ, and sorry for the background. It is just NFL. Uh, yeah, because we're just watching NFL. But I thought I would show you what I got. Yes, and I've been waiting a week to do this because um, the post area took, like, it wasn't that long. But, yeah, it was just about, this was today. It was due today. And, uh, yeah, we, when we rocked up at our house, they were there. I got the full wave of What If figures. Marvel Legends full wave of What Ifs. So, yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so up first we're going to take a look at Sylvie. Right here. Right here. Sylvie from the Loki TV show. With her one horn. Looks very cool. Um, this sort of cape that doesn't have a peg in it. It sort of just lounges on. Here is the Sylvie. She looks very cool. Uh, here is a blade. Obviously, Sylvie is a variant of Loki. Spoiler if you guys haven't watched uh, the Loki TV show. But yeah, I think um, I've got uh, the Disney Plus Loki over here with a DC sword. Or just a normal sword, I don't know. Here he is next to Sylvie. They look very good together. Right there. So we're going to put them over there. And next up we're going to go with Heist Nebula. Now, this, uh, I think, on some people's list, ranked low. Um, and, yeah, it is a pretty plain figure with just the purple. But, and the blue. But, this is my very first Nebula. I don't have a Nebula uh, from the movie, from the Guardians movies or anything. But, uh, yeah, it's a... I actually think it looks very accurate. Uh, there's her gun. And in the show, in the show, her eye, it's like metal. It's not this one. This one's normal, right? But then this hair piece is meant to be glued. Uh, this hair piece is meant to be glued. And under this eye, it's meant to be metal. As you can see, it is not. It is normal eye. Exact same as the other. So, a little nitpick right there, but you can put her next to Thanos. Obviously, we will get to all the Ravengers. Uh, yeah, up next we have probably my least favourite in the wave, specifically because it's, it's the same thing. Here we have a... It's called Zombie Hunter Spider-Man. So, here we have Spider-Man. It's a really, really good Spider-Man figure, but compared to the others, it just doesn't stack up. Uh, in like, this whole wave is meant to be out of this world, a part of the What If show. Uh, it definitely looks exactly like the show. And on the pants, it has a bit of blood splatter. Down the boots, a lot, as you can see, on the boots. A lot of blood, a lot of epicness. Uh, yeah, but that's, he also comes with an interchangeable head. Unfortunately, it is like in a box over there. I can't get it. He also comes with the Cape of Levitation. There it is, the Cape of Levitation, which played a a big role, a big, big role in that episode. And just like uh, Sylvie's cape, it, it actually does. It works, it works well, but it will fall off if you tilt. But good for shelves if you are into just standing and sitting it like there. Okay. Now, 
Who should we do? Yeah, let's do you. Up next, we have T'Challa Star Lord. So this is pretty much Black Panther getting abducted by Yondu instead of Peter Quill. Uh, so here is Yondu. This isn't a Marvel Legend Yondu. It is just a normal Yondu, like a, a comic type Yondu. It's a basic, so it doesn't really much with that. And then here we have him next to Thanos. Spoiler alert. So maybe skip like 10 seconds. Uh, yeah, he ends up turning Thanos to the good side. Crazy. And then here we have him next to his partner in the same episode, Ice Nebula. Right there. So, T'Challa has these little rocket things. These are like the, the boosters in that episode. Uh, some nice gold on the pants and everything. Uh, the purple and gold and the black really mi mixes. And the grey, sorry. Really mix mixes well. I reckon it, it's a pretty good head sculpt. Alright. So now I've got all the heist figures, all the like, T'Challa episode figures. Oh, uh, how else? Yes. Now, this one is a bit gory, if you're not into that. Uh, but here is the zombie Captain America. And when I say gory, I mean gory. I'm going to go turn on the light for you guys. A bit better now. So here we have the ribs just exploded and then we have the legs that have just been ripped apart and then he has one zombie arm and one like sort of sleeved arm which is the one I'm holding the shield on the shield also has some purple blood on it and then over here is like stained it's not white it's yellow because it's worn out so is the star um here he here's his eyes his mouth there's the a also he's got one boot and one barefoot now moving to the back he's got like ripped but here another thing here but uh bone area but what i love here is where the strap is if you take the strap sort of uh, let me just um, if you sort of move the strap you'll see that it's actually an area there so that the strap sort of protected that area so that's really good um so yeah, one of my favourite figures in the way. Probably my second favourite figure. Depends. Up next we have... Alright. Up next we have... Captain Carter. If you haven't seen the Disney Plus show What If, which all these, pretty much apart from the Sylvie figure, all these figures are based off. Go watch it. It is amazing. Ah. Uh, here is the Peggy. And no, I'm not sponsored to make this. I just bought all of these. And then here is the Peggy. It's a pretty small shield, and it may not look small. But then you compare it to... Uh, oh, this is a Marvel Select shield. A Marvel Legend shield. Uh, well, I will do a review on these figures, uh, but yeah, compared to that is a normal size shield for Marvel Legends. It's pretty small. I'm not uh, so yeah, this was the, she was in the very first episode, the main character. They do make a Hydra Stomper, that's like a hundred bucks. Uh, 
So the shield obviously has the Union Jack on it. Her whole suit has the Union Jack. Uh, boots look cool. And in the back, some people, some Captain Carters do not have these painted, which I was very happy to see that mine did. Uh, and the inside of the shield is white. And if you guys are worried about getting the shield on, fear absolutely no more. If you put it on this hand, it will go in absolutely just perfectly. Like, sorry. <laughs> okay, up next we have, well, this is the last one in the wave. My, my personal favorite. The evil Doctor Strange, aka Doctor Strange Supreme. All right, we're gonna we're gonna look at the cape, the cape first. The E, seen as Doctor Strange is evil, the cape definitely followed through. Here we have the good cape that was in the Spider Man, and then the evil cape, and it was an awesome scene where they actually fought. But this is like a leather, just normal. And then if you feel this, it's like it's wet, but like it's, it's a very slip, like it's slippery, kind of. Very weird feeling material on the inside. Then we have a peg, which goes into the stranger's back. And here we go, the Doctor Strange Supreme. Look at that head. You guys know what he looks like. He, it looks spot on. Here we have the gold um, sort of wrist braces, wrist guard things. Then we have um, the time stone effect, looking epic. And then sort of this evil look. Uh, the legs, I think, are the same as... Uh, Marvel Legends Doctor Strange. You can put the good Doctor Strange cape on if you want, but we're here to put this cape on. So what you want to do is you want to put the peg in first. Uh, so you want to put the peg in, put this over, and there he is in all of his glory. Uh, and it sort of just hovers above him if you move him around it will jiggle but it will not fall off it will not fall off now the build a figure you guys know what it is maybe you don't the main star of the show the watcher this was a pain in the butt to build but i finally built it and here he is in his full glory. He comes apart on camera. At least it's on camera. So, there he is. He is very big, very tall. Here he is compared to a normal. Very big. His head moves, arms are double jointed. A lot of people have been saying they need to heat up this arm. I didn't need to heat up anything. I nearly had to glue this part together because it is a pain in the butt to put that up there. Um, so here we have the back of the cape. And then there's this piece, which I'll take off for you guys. So there's a hole in the back, which just plug in like that you can plug it in like this but then if you lift up the cape that will or just it's not very secure but if you put it pretty much under so like if you put this bit under and then put it in it sits way better and looks way better but yeah, there is the giant, there is the square, and um, yes. So yes, uh, 
Very cool. Very cool face. He's got a really big head. Really cool head. We're going to make that the thumbnail, guys. So I'm going to move out. I'm going to get a cool thumbnail. Okay, I'm going to get a cool thumbnail. Watch me get a cool thumbnail. Okay. That should be good. We got a thumbnail. Uh, here is he, here's him rocking the one sleeve look. And it's sort of draping down. But uh, yeah. Here he, he, he is next to my Infinity uh, Ultron. Here's my Infinity Ultron custom. Uh, it's very easy to make. Uh, not that good, but pretty good. This is a Titan Hero Ultron. Next to the Watcher, he is, uh, and this shows, he is pretty big, he is a pretty big boy, but, uh, Titan Hero, Ultron comes out on top, um, I am going to put all of the Guardians of the Multiverse together, for you guys to see, so, spoiler, if you guys haven't seen the show if you guys haven't seen the guardians of the multiverse episode where he puts them all together but uh okay um, we got it guys so i'm gonna show you the guardians of the multiverse we're gonna show you guys the, the guardians of the multiverse right now here we have Strange Supreme. Sorry if there's a loud noise, it's probably because my iPad is like moving. Captain Carter, T'Challa, Killmonger, Black Widow, Gamora, Party Thor, and the Watcher. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one. Backwards. Backwards, okay, so.